Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Peter, and this is my 10 minute dumbbell only tricep workout. We're going to do two rounds, five exercises, doing 30 seconds on with 30 seconds rest. You only need one pair of dumbbells for this workout. I've got some beginner and more advanced variations on some of them, and I'll give you a demo of each when they come up. Let's get started with a half knee link overhead tricep extension. If you can't do two dumbbells jammed together, try a single. It doesn't matter which leg you're kneeling on, that half kneeling position is just avoiding an excessive overarch of the lower back. Try not to let your elbows flare out to the sides too much. Drop the dumbbell or dumbbells nice and deep behind your head. You might even feel contact with your upper back. Extend them all the way to straight and tense your triceps at the top. Okay, you got a 30 second rest now. It might seem like a long rest after just one set, but believe me, the fatigue in your triceps is gonna build throughout this and you'll be wanting these rest times by the end. We're gonna go on to a narrow grip push-up next. You can do it on or off the dumbbells and if you struggle with regular push-ups, you can just do the negative phase and then reset at the bottom. So either full push-ups or slow negatives. Let's get ready to go. help emphasize the triceps we're going to make sure we've got that narrow grip just anything shoulder width or slightly inside of that will do and also keep your elbows tucked in tight to your sides i like to do them on the dumbbells because it allows me to keep a straight wrist position and have a slight deficit drop at the bottom but if it's easier for you being on your palms is absolutely fine as well You're gonna flip onto your back now. We're gonna do a really great variation of a skull crusher. I call this an ISO hold alternating skull crusher, which is basically just describing what you're doing. You're gonna isometrically hold just past the halfway point on the way down, and then you're gonna alternate arms doing single dumbbell extensions up to the top while maintaining the other one hovering at the same time. Again, with this one, try not to let your elbows kick too wide to the outside. If you hold the dumbbell too close to the floor, it'll probably be a little bit too easy. So anything from the halfway point or just below parallel with your forearms will be a great exercise in this one. Here we're maintaining time under tension on the triceps, giving a more effective set and a deeper burn in that tricep. Now we're moving on to a body weight tricep exercise called a forearm push-up. This is a really tough one, but I'll show you the kneeling variation as well. You're gonna start in a press-up position, walk your hands forwards, and then you're ready to go. You're gonna drop your elbows slowly onto the mats and then extend to straight, trying to straighten both your elbows at the same time rather than staggering them one at a time. When you get to the top, tense your triceps and then have that nice slow controlled negative back to the floor. Keep your core locked in nice and tight throughout the whole movement, just like you would in a regular plank. So your glutes are tight, belly button drawn in. As you lower down, your chest and hips are gonna lower down together at the same rate, and then they're gonna rise at the same rate. So you're not sticking your hips in the air and letting your chest lead the way, but you're also not drooping your hips down, arching your lower back. The final exercise in the five of this first round is going to be a regular skull crusher. So you're going to start on your back with your arms straight. You're going to slowly lower the dumbbells down, skimming the tops of your ears or coming close. Make sure you don't bash yourself in the head and then extend back to the top, squeezing your triceps and straightening the arms. I like to have a slight angle to my arms when they're straight. So you'll see that although they're straight, they're sloping slightly towards my head. I find this maintains a good time under tension on the tricep and stops me from resting in that vertical position.
well done you're halfway through we're going to give your triceps a 45 second rest now and then we're going to repeat those five exercises again for one final round if you want to drop down in weight if you found that a little bit too hard or you just fatigued from the first round then do that now or maybe you thought it was too light and you want to go up you've got the time to do it now Keep going, you're nearly there. I'm sure your triceps are burning, but you've only got 15 seconds left now. 
If you've enjoyed this workout, take a quick second to hit that like button and also let me know in the comments how you found it. Were there any exercises which you really struggled with? Were there any that you really liked? And if you've got anything left in your arms, check out my 10 minute bicep workout follow along. I'll link it on the screen now. Check out my dumbbells playlist. There's loads of other videos you could do, whether you do one now or save one for another day. I've got a dumbbell ebook out, which is a structured 12 week plan. It gives you sets, reps and percentages to work towards. I'll link that in the description. Hopefully, if you enjoyed the content, you'll subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon for another workout.